Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. This movie shows you the essential principle on how to do Tai Chi in order to gain the benefit of practicing this mind-body training that uses martial art to prepare yourself for meditation in order to gain a higher level of mental consciousness. Tai Chi was legendarily invented by a Taoist immortal, Reverend Chang San Fung, who was intrigued by the sudden upgrade of the fighting ability of a snake when it coiled itself up to fight off the eagle predator. This legendary origin was probably made up by the inventor of Tai Chi, who wanted to boost this credibility by linking it up with a Taoist immortal, but the analogy of using a coiled snake to symbolize Tai Chi was the touch of genius. A crawling snake is the dead snake to an eagle. The coiling up of the body of the snake immediately makes the snake stronger and more and more flexible in maneuvering itself. So the first principle of doing good Tai Chi is to acquire a new set of reflexes to train the body to move as a whole and to use the lower stomach called the Dan Tian, to control the movement of the body as well as the extremity. Many people have talked about the Dan Tian. The Dan Tian concept is used in various disciplines in Chinese culture, including meditation, qigong, martial art, and in opera singing. The easiest way to recognize a good Dan Tian is from singing the Chinese opera. Any Chinese opera fan can tell you which singer or singers have good Dantian. My Dantian singing has been confirmed as good by the associate professor of the music department of the Kent State University, Professor Lorraine. He has listened to my singing in various locations, and the following song of the sixth healing song is one of the examples of my Dan Tian singing. For full details of this song, you can go to the YouTube channel to watch the related movie. The links are in the illustration in my channel. Please read the disclaimer carefully. Please read the disclaimer carefully. The melody of the song of the sixth healing song that I'm going to sing is from a song sung by a very famous Chinese singer, Miss Ying Ying Wu, and the link is in the illustration. You can search the song on YouTube. The purpose of this singing is to show you the weary shape formed by the muscle of the mouth and the throat when you utter the sixth song in silence. I think the movement of the muscle of the stomach called the Dan Tian and those of the mouth and the throat provide the healing effect of the sixth song. The next essential principle for learning good Tai Chi is to know the eight forms of Tai Chi power thoroughly. Because they are like the 26th alphabet of the English language, their combination form all the Tai Chi movements. The Peng form of power shown at the Upper left hand corner is the mother of all the seven other forms of Tai Chi power. It is generated from the feet and controlled by the Dan Tian. It has an adhesive quality like, like a spring that powers the pile standing training in Tai Chi. I have seven movies demonstrating the first seven forms of Tai Chi power in my YouTube channel. The last one, the Li form of power, will be uploaded when my related article is published in the Tai Chi magazine. This is an example of an old article and a new one will be in the summer of this year 2015. According to Yu Shang Wu's Tai Chi classic The 13 Posture Song, all the movement in Tai Chi are initiated from the feet directed by the waist and expressed upward to the fingers and to the head. Knowing how this total body snake-like movement is expressed in the eight forms of Tai Chi power is one of the most essential principles for learning good Tai Chi.
For reason unknown, the Pang form of Tai Chi power has been poorly translated as ward off. Warding off the opponent is an action completely inconsistent with the Tai Chi adhesive principle of Zhen Lian Lian Chui Bu Diao Ding, stipulated by another Tai Chi sage, Wang Zhong Yu's, in his Da So Ge De Push Hand Song. The Peng form of Tai Chi power has been very clearly described by a famous Tai Chi master, Master Pei Song Wang. His specific instruction for expressing this form of Tai of Tai Chi power is the union of the Ming Men of the low back with the Huan Tiao acupuncture point of the hip joint as shown in the picture below. I'm going to demonstrate this with a short movie with my Dan Ten singing as the background music. Carefully. Regarding stretching in Tai Chi, the only pair of joints that really need to be worked on are the hip joints. This part of training is very important and it's quite complicated and I better do another movie to explain the reason and the technique because doing them improperly will be like translating the Peng form of Tai Chi power as warding off. It is not only useless and it may be even be harmful to the student. Hi, I'm Dr. George Ho. This concludes the movie and if you like this movie, please click like and please share it with your friend in other media like the Facebook and it would really motivate me to make more movies like this if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. George. Subscription is totally free.